Hey, good day everyone. My name is Alvin Mayers, back again. And I'm going to react to a video called Biden Addresses the Nation After Trump's Election Victory. And we all know that Trump won the United States general election. And this is what Biden has to say. So I'm going to take a listen to what he has to say. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Thank you, please. Thank you. Good to see this cabinet and the staff together. Here. Thank you. Hey, Biden. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's good to see you all. Particularly good to see my granddaughter sitting in the front row here. Hi, Finn. How are you, honey? For over 200 years, America has carried on the greatest experiment mm. in self-government in the history of the world. And that's not hyperbole. That's a fact. We're the people. The people vote and choose their own leaders, and they do it peacefully. And we're in a democracy. The will of the people always prevails. Yesterday, I spoke with President-elect Trump to congratulate him on his victory. And I assured him that I would direct my entire administration to work with his team to ensure a peaceful and orderly nice. transition. That's what the American people deserve. Yesterday, I also spoke with Vice President Harris. She's been a partner and a public servant. She ran an inspiring campaign, and everyone got to see something that I learned early on to respect so much, her character. She has a backbone like a ramrod. She has great character, true character. She gave her whole heart and effort, and she and her entire team should be proud of the campaign they ran. You know, the struggle for the soul of America since our very founding has always been an ongoing debate and still vital today. I know for some people, it's a time for victory, to state the obvious. For others, it's a time of loss. Campaigns are contests mm -hmm. of competing visions. The country chooses one or the other. We accept the choice the country made. I've said many times, you can't love your country only when That's you true. win. You can't love your neighbor that, that's only true. when you agree. Something I hope we can do, uh, no matter who you voted for, is see each other not as adversaries, but Amen. as fellow Americans. Bring down the temperature. I also hope we can lay to rest the question about the integrity of the American electoral system. It is honest, it is fair, and it is transparent. And it can be trusted, win or lose. I also hope we can restore the respect for all our election workers who busted their necks and took risks at the outset. We should thank them. Thank them for staffing voting sites, counting the votes, protecting the very integrity of the election. Many of them are volunteers who do it simply out of love for their country. And as they did, as they did their duty as citizens, I will do my duty as president. I'll fulfill my oath, and I will honor the Constitution. On January 20th, we'll have a peaceful transfer of power here in America. To all our incredible staff, supporters, cabinet members, all the people who've been hanging out with me for the last 40 years, God love you, as my mother would say, thank you so much. You put so much into the past four years. I know it's a difficult time. You're hurting. I hear you and I see you. But don't forget, don't forget all that we accomplished. It's been Amen. a historic presidency. Not because I'm president, because what we've done, what you've done, a presidency for all Americans. Much of the work we've done 
is already being felt by the American people, but the vast majority of it will not be felt, we felt over the next 10 years. We have, a, we, we have legislation we passed that's just only now just really kicking in. We're going to see over a trillion dollars worth of infrastructure work, yeah. changing people's lives in rural communities and communities that are in real difficulty, because it takes time to get it done. And so much more it's going to take time, but it's there. The road ahead is clear, assuming we sustain it. There's so much, so much we can get done and will get done based the way the legislation was passed. And it's truly historic. You know, we're leaving behind the strongest economy in the world. I know people are still hurting, but things are changing rapidly. Together, we've changed America for the better. Now we have 74 days to finish the term, our term. Let's make every day count. That's the responsibility we have to the American people. Look, folks, you all know it in your lives. Setbacks are unavoidable, but giving up is unforgivable. Setbacks are unavoidable, but giving up is unforgivable. We all get knocked down. <clears throat> but the measure of our character, as my dad would say, is how quickly we get back wow. up. That's that's a good saying. You know, it it, it it doesn't matter how much you've been knocked down, is if you get back up. You know, I have been knocked down a lot of times in, in my life already, and I always get back up. I always get back up. You know. There were times that I felt very discouraged and very, you know, why am I here? Why is this happening to me? But I always get back up, and it is your your faith drives you, your faith. That's Remember, a powerful saying by the defeat this does great not mean man, we are defeated. Joe Biden, right there. We lost this battle. The America of your dreams is calling for you to get back up. That's the story of America for over 240 years and counting. It's a story for all of us, not just some of us. The American experiment endures. We're going to be okay, but we need to stay engaged. We need to keep going. And above all, we need to keep the faith. I'm so proud to have worked with all of you. I really mean it. I sincerely mean it. God bless you all. God bless America. And may God protect our troops. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. That was, um, that was a good speech by this man. Wow. Biden went back in, in his face. Okay, wow. Yes, yeah, so that was a great speech by Mr. Joe Biden, the 46th president of the United States. Wow, man. Well, Joe, you made your time. At least you was president. You did what you could. You know, while Joe Biden was president, I is like I do not hear anything much about him while he was president. You know, not that he did not do anything. I believe he did what he could, but you know, I did not hear enough of what he did while he was president. But should Donald Trump have taken back the throne of America for four more years and we just have to hope for the best. And some people say they don't want Trump to be back in office. They, you know, but he won the election. And maybe God wanted Trump to be there. I mean, a lot of people don't like Trump, but, you know, you are, we have to look at the policies 
you know, if I'm a believer and the Democrat Party have have policies against my beliefs, against my what I believe, you know, it, 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 it's just looking like why will I vote for a party that is going against what I believe? You know, but that's the that's the way. So I thank you for looking at my video today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you. Do have yourself a wonderful day.